I'm excited to I'm excited to watch uh watch Chris Chris uh what's his name? Chris Tucker in the new uh Book of Saw movie. Cause like I don't whenever I think Chris Tucker, I don't think horror movie. I don't think like serious horror movie actor. I think of the guy from Rush from like uh not Rush Hour, that's uh No, that is Chris Tucker. I think I'm thinking of somebody else, but Chris Ma or what's his name? <clears throat> Hang on, let me look it up. I know I'm fucking up right now, and it's probably because I'm... Oh, who is he Who is he voiced by? Marty, Marty the Lion, voice actor. Uh... Oh! Chris Rock. Chris, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Wait a minute. I got the wrong fucking nut. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that... This like, like, nut. I wanna, Jesus Christ. I want to see, nut. like... I don't think of Chris Rock as the, like, as the, like, serious, like, horror movie kind of, like, hard, like, hard-boiled detective. I think of him more as Marty <sighs> the Zebra from Madagascar. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, to have that, like, disposition in my brain to, like, separate him from his comedy roots to this, like, serious horror flick. Samuel L. Jackson... I can I can do that because he's a very wide range actor. Chris Rock has only really shown one kind of affinity in terms of film. Hmm. John Wick versus Agent Forty Seven. Oh, from Hitman. I know. Yeah, I John Wick has to take that one because Agent Forty Seven is more specialized. He is a very skilled hand to hand combatant, but he's more specialized in silent takedowns, whereas John Wick is very, like, skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, or he's very skilled in stealth combat, or, like, taking out targets stealthily, but when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's, like, next to nobody that can match him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, or even a group fight. Yeah. And that's purely that's because... That's a confusing one for me. Hmm. Because on one hand, 47 was designed for this. He was... Like, they straight up like genetically bred him and raised him to do this kind of shit but john wick is fucking john wick he's fucking john wick he's he's just he's like i think a more apt comparison would be uh uh what's the name of the fucking character uh it's that denzel washington movie man on fire no the equalizer oh i think i know what you're talking about it's when he took robert on those... mccall yeah robert mccall Robert McCall would be a better match for John Wick. You know, if we're going to talk about, like, different characters combating each other, how many of you watched, um, Superpower Beatdown? I did. Which episodes did you like? I have no idea what it is. Basically, it's a, it's a live-action take on Death Battle, but with a wider yeah. range of characters. Yeah, I watched that. Oh. Um, one of them includes a fight between Scorpion and White Ranger. Which had a very, which they even got the actual actor of the White Ranger. For yeah. Games, so. Yeah, and then when they did the Green Ranger versus Ryu, they got Jason David Frank to come back again because Jason David Frank is the GOAT. Right? <laughs> Not gonna... Also, they had a, they had a simple one where it was Batman versus Deadpool. Yes. That one was good. That one was good. I love that one. Darth Vader that versus was... Gandalf. Ugh. They did that oh, in that super. They did. They they did that in Superpower Beatdown, but they really like didn't give the full range of what Gandalf's power is. Gandalf is a direct servant of the gods of Middle Earth, which are essentially manifestations of the natural processes of that world. Why the fuck did I do that? I'm a fucking so, idiot. In terms of in terms of a fight, angry cyborg space wizard versus literal god of the universe. I don't think there's much of a competition there. I've seen one that's uh, Gandalf versus uh, Darth Vader, and the cool thing about that is, is that's that the one we were just talking about. You yeah. said no. You said Gandalf versus Darth Maul. No, Darth that. Vader. That's I was talking about Darth Vader. I'm sorry okay. if I. Yeah, if I, but no, I like that they there was a scene where Gandalf used his power and transformed itself into um, Anakin to show the inner demon. Yeah. Now, if that was Gandalf in, like, an actual fight using the full, like, extent of his power, he would probably bring a mountain nope. down on top of Darth Vader or bust a planet. Because 
Gandalf is actually fucking terrifying. Well, here's an interesting little uh, battle scenario: Mickey Mouse versus Bugs Bunny. <laughs> That's they stupid. Yeah. Well, okay. They kind of do. Well, There's a lot of slaps to convolve. Because like that whole, because like yeah, that whole deal is ridiculous slapstick, and they all kind of do the same thing. If you see well, one anvil falling on someone, you've seen them all. Question, question, is it Kingdom Hearts Mickey Mouse? Yeah, that's a good pointer. <laughs> is it King Mickey who is pissed as fuck? Yeah, because he's a freaking mad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Like, you see how he is with magic. Don't underestimate his magic, especially if he's building a very powerful heat like that both are the and the nobody spear. I you still like that. You know that you've been deep crap. <laughs> I still think that like Don, like Donald, fucking unleashing, unleashing Zeta Flare and becoming God for like a second. <laughs> Donald, Donald Duck is can is canonically the most powerful black mage in the Final Fantasy franchise, and that's Ooh. horrifying. <laughs> Like, think about it. Like, Norm, like, Zeta Flare is basically the heat death of the universe. Just the heat death of all life in the entire universe, and he used it. Now, granted, he collapsed when he did it, but he did it using his own mana, which should have killed him, but it didn't. Huh. Didn't Bugs Bunny oh, yeah. wield a gun in one of the shorts that was that he was trying to play a piano? Yeah, and he straight up fucking shot a dude. <laughs> Bugs yeah, Bu you're right. I remember. But Bu Bu Bugs Bunny fucking capped a bitch in the audience because he wouldn't stop coughing. You're right. I remember that. So Bugs is precision. In precision. Fucking Bugs is proficient in firearms and fucking Mickey's proficient in hitting people in the face with a key. Magic. That's one of the two. Not to mention he has very strong, powerful magic. Yeah, Make so... Especially if he wears a short sort of hat. Don't Wait, hold on. Didn't one, didn't one of the newer fucking... Didn't one of the newer Looney Tunes series basically <sighs> make it so that Bugs Bunny was fucking Superman, but Bugs Bunny? I think I know what you're talking about. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, you'll notice that Goofy is the smartest character in Kingdom Hearts. He does show the most <laughs> intelligence out of all the characters, but also he's the physically strongest out of everyone. True, because he's Could... meant to be for defense, so he has yeah. a higher defense. Yeah, he's the, the he's, one. He's canonically physically strongest. Goofy from the bucket. Goofy from Disney versus Boris from Bendy Machine. Ooh. Oh no! And I'm talking about Warrior Boris. Uh, Goofy. The, the monster board is No, not the monster one, the fucking Warrior, warrior, warrior one warrior, with the warrior, cyber. Warrior. Come on. Oh, you're talking from about the one that we're in Tom. You're talking about Tom Boris. That's what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, Tom uh, Boris. Best Boris. Did I stuff mm. it? Best Boris. Bendy versus Mickey. Bendy, because Bendy's a literal fucking demon. Yeah. Exactly! Well, I mean, which Bendy? Are we talking about Cartoon Bendy or the Monster Bendy? I think we're talking Monster Bendy. Okay. Yeah, because if you've seen the monster video, especially at the end of the game, that thing is terrifyingly powerful. Monsters. He's able to smack a full-grown man on. through a wall! Give me a son! Fuck! Thank you. You just, you just need... You just need... You need... You gotta get that last one on the top upgraded, Golden. Yeah. Hey, guys, I got one. Yeah. There. Hmm. Okay, so... Master Chief. The Doom Slayer, Samus, and I'm trying to think of the fourth one. God damn it! Okay, he's coming on that one. There. Anyone here know any like iconic power armor guys that I'm forgetting? Mega Man. Finally, I'm making some fucking Man. progress. <laughs> <laughs> because he's you that's not power armor. He's a robot. <laughs> that armor is part of him. <sighs> That is true, Darren did make a good point. In one of the animations, it did even show that Bendy can actually beat Cuphead. Beat Satan, so... Okay. Yeah, basically, Satan incarnated. So, yeah. So, 
Okay, I'll just stick with those three. Master Chief, Samus, and the Doom Marine from Doom. Mm, Doom Slayer has never really shown... Outside of, I haven't played Doom Eternal yet, but I don't think he's shown a feat, like, of survival, such as being... Such as falling from orbit from an exploding Covenant supercarrier. Nope. Yeah. Do you, as... Do you care about spoilers for Doom Eternal? I don't care. Shit. Okay, so, um, now he does. <laughs> Fuck you. So, Doom Slayer has survived a similar okay, impact. Okay, there's another one. Um, Doom Slayer shot a hole in Mars and then shot himself out of the cannon to Mars, basically. Okay. Have you seen that shit, one trailer shit. where he shot Fuck. himself out with a big gun? Yes. Oh, that's so, so that's not good. Okay, so... Doomslayer, if... Okay, because when they did the original death battle, that was Doomslayer before the newer Doom, like, Doom Eternal and Doom 2016. Yeah. I think that Doomslayer may have a better chance of beating... of beating Master Chief at this... at the juncture of, like, post-Doom Eternal. Eat your fucking heart out, Captain America. <laughs> no, because I've seen a video that is Captain America versus Master Chief. What the fuck? They just popped out of the goddamn pool. Okay. <laughs> and that's yeah. the video goes. No, um... Ah, oh, shit. I wasted it. God damn it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through it with a snow truck. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. No, uh, there was a um, superpower beatdown had Captain America versus Master Chief, and um, uh, the m most votes went to Captain America, so he won the battle. Yeah, I saw that. And then oh. they also, they had a, I think it was because of, yeah, most, most of it, it's because Captain America got the most votes. Yeah. But well, I mean, I understand that, but how are they gonna fucking... How are they gonna logic how, how feasibly impossible that is, considering the whole point behind the Chief's armor? Can Master Chief... The same thing, but... Hey, like, Hi, Blush! Hey, like, they're both the same concept. <laughs> Hello. They're both the same concept, like, freaking really powerful super soldiers who were <laughs> drugged up at a young age and turned into powerhouses. But the I love how the no one's can... blinking an eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, nothing new at this point every eye. time you do that. Yeah. But the one difference is Captain America has a really strong shield that he can throw, but if he loses it, he doesn't have it. And Master Chief has a really strong suit of armor, which canonically weighs more than multiple fully grown men. Yeah, the, I think that, if I remember the video correctly, he... <laughs> Master Chief threw a plasma grenade at Cap. Cap, bounced, like, knocked it off of his shield. That can't be done, but okay. And then Cap ran up when Chief was was staggered because his shield was out and was managed to take the edge of the vibranium shield and stab it into that part of his neck that's uncovered. The little section between his neck where his, uh, like, his interface suit is. Okay, so I get... Oh, that was a waste. But the plasma grenade will stick to. Will stick to. Will stick to anything. Yeah, I didn't understand so, it either. That's actually bullshit. <laughs> they literally <laughs> broke the rules just because more people voted for Cap. Yeah. yeah. They also. Which yeah. I don't like. <laughs> they also. They also had a another one where uh, Cap like it goes towards the same ending because like the votes were so close, uh, closely tied. Uh, where Cap goes in to do the stab again, but Chief just catches, like, catches the edge of the shield and then shoots Cap in the forehead. Hmm. 